Welcome, I'm Mr. John from ExpellingMaps.com and today we're going to have a look together at multiplying one matrix by another matrix. And um, before we start, you always have a look at the order of the matrix. How many rows and how many columns does each matrix have? So I'm going to write down, I have two rows by three columns for my first matrix and my second matrix has three rows by two columns. So it's a two by three matrix multiplied by a three by two. Now why do I always check that? Because I can only multiply one matrix by the other if those inner numbers are the same. And they are the same now, so I can multiply them. But more importantly, why do I check this? Because my answer now is going to be a matrix of order two by two. And it's really useful to already know before you start what the order of your answer is going to be. So I'm going to put four dots, two by two, and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to get those four pieces of information. Now how do I work this out? I'm going to copy that first uh, matrix, two by three. So I'm going to copy that here. Two, three, one, zero, four, five. Look what I'm doing now. I'm going to draw sort of a cross and my answer is going to appear here. Two by two. So I'm going to put the dots there. Now why do I write it out like this? Because it helps me um, to remember that for that first matrix I have to go horizontally and that second matrix I have to go vertically. So I have to do two times seven plus one times two plus four times one. And check my other videos on my website explainingmaps.com for a little bit more detail. But 14 plus one is 15 plus four, that is going to be 19. So this value will be 19. For this value, horizontally here, vertically there. So that's going to be two times three, so six, plus one times two, which is two, so eight plus 16. And eight plus 16, of course, you can work this out in your calculator, but 24. Now we are dropping a row and we go for this piece of information. You see now how useful it is to have those dots because you know exactly what you're supposed to do horizontally, vertically. 21 plus 0 plus 1 times 5 is 5, so 26. And my final piece of information, 3 times 3 is 9, 0 plus 5 times 4, 20, so 29. And I'm done. So 19, 24, 26, 29 is going to be my final solution. Now I hope that was useful, explainingmaps.com for all my other free resources. Uh, so check my website. I know normally you only see my hands, but today it was just a little bit easier to make the video like this. Um, like and share, and I wish you a very pleasant day. Bye-bye.